Microsoft SharePoint is a great, wonderful tool to help us become more efficient and productive as we collaborate with other people and maintain records and documents and so on. There's a few things though inside of SharePoint that I can get really excited about and workflows is one of them. Essentially, a SharePoint workflow will allow us to automate some business process. If you've ever built flow charts before, kind of going through step one, then you move to step two, then you move to step three, this is a workflow. And there are a few different types of workflows that you can create and utilize inside of SharePoint. But really, once again, it comes down to automating some process. For example, I might automate the steps of approving a document, going through an approval process. Well, I need to be able to send the document out to a group of individuals, ask them to complete a task to approve or reject this document, make updates to the document, whatever needs to happen. Well, I can do that manually, create an email, attach the document, uh, uh, fill in the to field, who am I gonna send this to, send it out, cross my fingers, and hope that people start replying to that email or I gotta track them down. Well, we can automate all of that in one spot through workflows within SharePoint. The defaults out of the box workflows inside of SharePoint really do a couple of things for us and they do it really well. One, they send out emails. You create a workflow, for example, an approval process, you assign who you want the emails to go to. For example, I can say, hey, anytime a document is added to this library, I need this group of people to be alerted that there's a new document and that they have to approve or reject it. And SharePoint will automatically send the emails out for me. Number two, it'll create tasks for these individuals. Whoever receives that email about, hey, you gotta approve or reject this thing, they get a task in the SharePoint site that they now need to update. And we can keep tabs on that. Number three, and this is perhaps my favorite feature of workflows, it creates, each workflow creates a history list. And the history list essentially gives you a play-by-play, step-by-step, what the workflow has gone through and what's the current stage of the workflow. The reason why I love it is I can have that history to fall back on and say, hey, we did this, that, and the other thing on these dates. It got approved here. It got rejected by this person on this date. And I can find bottlenecks. If something's going wrong, like the workflow has been running for a couple of weeks and it's like, what is taking so long? Well, I can jump into the history list and I can see who it's currently stuck on. These are workflows automating some business process such as an approval, collection of feedback or signatures. Maybe it's a disposition approval. You're going to retain a document. Now it's, it's done and it's retention policy and needs to be disposed of. What are we going to do with it? And you can send it through this workflow. Automate the process.